Is there anything that she cannot do? Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Let me firstly apologize for this close up angle, the shots you just saw in that intro. We need to change lenses back, but all those nice shots you saw were filmed on this lens, which is, that is as far out as I can hold this camera. So let's change lenses, start the day, start the vlog, and enjoy these pancakes. Okay, pancakes were delicious, very good. I tried a new recipe out and I did like a, I googled fluffy pancake recipe because normally the pancakes I make are never that thick, but I actually used baking powder this time and they're really good. I just took the sugar out of the recipe because, I don't know, we add fruit and stuff. I feel like it doesn't need added sugar. But they're very nice. And now there's some loud banging going on somewhere upstairs or next door. It sounds like someone's trying to hammer something into a wall. Um, but anyway, I actually just wanted to quickly talk about our hospital experience so far here in Manila. Uh, we've had tons of questions. I think it was like a Q&A question on my Instagram before um, which hospital we're using. And up to this point, we've been going to St. Luke's in BGC. And yeah, we had loads of questions about costs and like breakdowns and things. And I think I mentioned that it was quite expensive um, in a vlog the other day. And then there were lots of comments saying if I could go into more detail. So I'm gonna do that now quickly. So I honestly, before now, we're not American. We're not used to paying for healthcare for anything. So unless you, unless you go private in England, sometimes going private in England means that you can get a quicker appointment or something done quicker. But generally, most people, George and I included, um, just use the NHS, which is amazing. It's a, the healthcare system there, if you don't know, um, and it's free. So when we talk about costs for hospitals, I've got nothing to compare it to. I don't know how much things cost in a hospital, um, well, until now. We do have a health insurance, but it doesn't cover maternity. Well, you can have it cover maternity, but if I say, for example, today, to switch maternity on, pay for it, apparently it's like 18 months from now that I can actually use it. And obviously in 18 months, I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore. Unless I'm pregnant with the second, which I don't think will happen that soon. So yeah, we've been paying for everything ourselves and it has been quite expensive, purely based on what I imagined. But again, I don't know if it's expensive or not. I'd love to hear your experiences here. Um, if you've paid for stuff here in Manila and like compared to other hospitals and stuff. But I do also know that St. Luke's is a very good hospital. It's like world class. It's a very high standard private hospital. And it was actually the one, it's the one closest to us. So it's the one we felt most comfortable using. And it's been brilliant. Like the, there's, I have zero complaints. I've, it's been so good. They've looked after us really well. Everyone we've met there has been great. And the OB that we've been seeing is there a couple of days a week as well. So it's all under one roof. It's super, super easy. But yeah, price wise, I'm just gonna do a little rundown. So every time I see the OB, I pay, I think it's 1,000 pesos, 1,500 pesos a time. Um, I might quickly convert this all into US dollars so that if you're watching from anywhere else in the world, I feel like the US dollar is like an easy currency to kind of convert to whatever currency you're in. So if I convert that, that's 30 US dollars per appointment with her. And it's normally like 15 minutes or something and we chat or discuss results for tests and things. The second thing we've had were when we went to get them about 10 or 11 different blood tests and urine samples sorted. And that total bill, that was the one, let me open that, get a bit of light in here. That was the one that surprised us um, because I don't know, in my head I was like, oh, it might be, hundred dollars or something um but it was a bit more than that so it was about 360 dollars eighteen thousand pesos um total for all the tests to be done um every time we have an ultrasound it's roughly three thousand five hundred pesos so about sixty nine dollars so about seventy dollars per or seventy dollars or fifty british pounds um per ultrasound and i've had two at this point and i also had the first trimester screen which oh no so one of so I have, i've had one ultrasound on its own and then i've had a second one which included two more blood tests as part of the first trimester screen um, that's recommended for for people in england anyway it's not as common to have in asia i just think some of the things i test for aren't as common out here so I, it's something i requested when you're in england it's a test that about i think about 90 percent of people in england get it um so i thought i may as well get it it's available to me here and that costs 12,000 was it? I think that one off the top of my head was 12,000 pesos, which is 240 US dollars or about 175 English pounds. Um, so I've straightened, I straightened my hair today and washed it and I can't stop touching it because it's really fluffy. So I will try and stop. That's probably not very nice to watch. See, so yeah, I don't know what the total is. I haven't added it up, but I'm sure you can add it up from that if you want to. So that's what we've spent so far medically here. So I think, so apparently you can pay a lot less 
for the blood tests. So we went to pathology at St. Luke's and they were very good and it was very quick results and it was a good turnaround. So we're happy we went, but apparently it's a lot cheaper if you go elsewhere and then bring the results back to your doctor at St. Luke's. But the service was great and we're not complaining about that at all. So I don't regret at all using St. Luke's for everything um, up to this point and yeah, I'd be interested to know in the comments if any of you have had similar experiences or have paid a lot more or a lot less. Uh, and if you're watching from a different country other than England or the Philippines, let me know how much like it costs to have a baby, all these kind of tests and things elsewhere around the world, because I'm super interested to know. It's not something that before living out of England, it's not something that we really consider because anything in England will be covered pretty much. Um, well, everything throughout pregnancy anyway. So it's just interesting to hear like how it works in different countries. But yeah, that's it. I hope that was helpful to some of you guys. I am in the best mood because of the seasoning. You might hear it sizzling away in the background. Ooh, weather check's looking nice. Let me do that in a minute. Lucy is making her burgers today. It's not horrible, what are you on about? It's delightful. All right guys, comment below. I'm gonna do the weather check before we have a look at these burgers. Out of 10, I normally give an out of 10 rating for the weather check, but I want you guys to do it today. Comment below, weather check out of 10, three, two, one. Okay, okay. All right, right, right. I just realized that it doesn't look as good through the camera, but in real life, there's a nice, almost little sunset yellow tinge going on. But more importantly, over here. It's three o'clock, there's no sunset tinge. Is it three o'clock? It got dark early. It's because it's it start, it started raining. Four o'clock. Lucy's in the kitchen, she's watching. What's this again? Below deck, Mediterranean, and cooking up these loud burgers. Yeah, they've shrunk because they were frozen. So we're going to double up. Yeah, baby. Um, we got these buns from Wildflower to the softest brioche buns. Got our cheese. Tomato, onion, got cheese ready. Caramelized onion, raw onion, oh. mustard. What mustard do you want? American, American or? It's got to be American. I'm going to have one of each. Are you? Think. I'm going to have American in both. Okay. Because I think American mustard in a burger all the way. Very excited for these. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for getting them You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Luce. Enjoy. Two beautiful. Oh. Guns off, wait, I oh, need really? to go again. Okay, what did we forget? I forgot the caramelized onions. Oh, okay. Mm, the onions, yeah, that's gonna make the difference. Yum.